Welcome to the Acropolis of Pergamon. This was one of the most important cities in the ancient world. It was the capital of the Pergamene Kingdom, and despite being occupied by the Romans, it had its own culture and governance for many, many years. This is one of the steepest theatres in the entire ancient world. Seating for 10,000. Maybe you could tell from me walking down those stairs, but I've got a bit of a limp in my left leg. It's all the bike riding. It's been doing a number on my knee. wouldn't want to start tumbling down this. There'd be nothing to stop you. All these exquisite archways. Oh my. So this was all the foundations and landscaping involved in the Temple of Trajan. Where the imperial cult first started being worshipped in the province of Asia. This Acropolis was modelled after the Acropolis in Athens. Their goal was to create a second Athens. And it might not be in as good a shape now, but it is certainly spectacular. That these posts and lintels are still intact amazes me. Look at this lion head. Must have had water coming out of that hole. What an incredible fountain remains. face details up there. What a mind-blowing array of columns. Let's 
get a closer look at that castle. Well, I think I understand. These were the down pipes for when it rained. It channeled the water out through the mouths. How creative. that room and amphitheater down there just up there there's the Asclepion see that mound in the middle of the city right there there's another one right over there those are ancient tomb mounds Look at that red basilica down there. Such a big bustling city. was fun. Imagine addressing a full house from down here. Ah, the remains of a small temple. Temple of Dionysos. It's in such great shape. This has got to be the most intense city I've seen in Turkey so far. Just the level of subsumption and blending of ancient ruins with the day-to-day -day streets. It's incredible. Like you'll find a marble column just randomly embedded in the walls. Ancient vaults just popping out of the hillside. I've seen more of it here than anywhere else. Aside from, of course, the ruins, the best part about these Acropoli are the amazing views. It's just so dramatic. The entire city was built on the slopes of this hill. Down here somewhere there's a gymnasium. And this is one of Turkey's 21 UNESCO heritage sites, by the way. It deserves it. Nice plinth. Here's the main road down to the gymnasium. Imagine all the ancient Pergamene peoples coming down here for a workout.
I've always wanted to use one of those things. What a dramatic olive tree. Arches really do stand the test of time. Pretty flowers. These trees really fit in here. There's the gymnasium. Pergamon was a center of parchment making. In fact, the word parchment comes from the word Pergamon. It was their goal to disrupt the monopoly on papyrus held by Ptolemaic Egypt. Go figure. Ah yes, see those gondolas? I rode all the way up here just to see them. Oh well. It'll be a fun ride back down. Wow, what a beautiful apse. I wonder if there was a statue of some god in there, or an altar or something. This is so tranquil. I'm the only one here. I love it.
primordial ooze. The cistern of ooze. Looks like the remains of a face right there on the keystone. That's amazing. Well, clearly this has been fixed. Lots of modern marble pieces inserted there. I have mixed feelings about that, honestly. On one hand, it's cool to see. On the other hand, it's fake AF. I do love that you can still see some of these metal ties embedded in the rock. Shows you how they used to hold this place together. At least they use marble from the same quarries. So in a thousand years it should look the same as everything else. This was a restroom. These could have been wash basins. Get a load of this altar. Insane. Such nice fluting on these columns. They loved their fluted columns. This place suffered heavily during the crisis of the third century. And there was an earthquake, and then it got sacked by the Goths, which was par for the course for these ancient cities back then. But yeah, didn't come out too well on top of that. And the Byzantines came in and they rebuilt it and then the Ottomans came in and conquered it and they shipped off a lot of the materials Not bad. Slippery hillside. There you go. There's some columns used in the walls again. Good spolia. Just shows you the changing priorities from temples to defense. That's the medieval times for you. Nice little worm tongue culvert. Byzantine city wall. Wow, so this was all part of the gymnasium still. The lower terraces of the gymnasium. Cows.
gee, some nationalistic stuff going on down there. These were all houses down here. We're in the residential area now. Okay, this has been Pergamon. Traveling to Izmir next, historically known as Smyrna. See you then.